Good day. Thanks for joining us here at Capillary Plastic Surgery. I'm Dr. Kamanis, and we're pleased to have you here. So we're going to discuss post-operative care in a general approach. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos discussing the particular post-operative care for breast augmentation, tummy tucks, facelifts, etc. But for now, what we're going to be discussing is a general approach that gives you an overall idea on what you need to heal well. So as the operation finishes, you'll be wheeled into the post-operative care unit, and once you wake up, then your post-operative healing journey begins. Uh, you will have a set of instructions depending on what kind of operation you underwent, and you should follow those very, very well. It's very important that you follow those instructions because that leads to good healing. You will be getting a sheet, and it will talk to you about diet, what you can do for exercise, what to do for the dressings, and then also uh, when you can go back to work, etc. Um, the important thing and the general idea is that you need a ride or, or a companion to take you home as you will be uh, awakening from general anesthesia and you will not have your mental alert alertness to drive. And that is state law. Once you get home, it is important for you to rest and but also still to walk around with assistance so you don't get too stiff and we don't get clots in your legs, etc. Okay? And then uh, let's talk about diet. Diet, we want you to start eating as soon as you can because you need a good balanced diet in order to heal. Um, if you're nauseated the first night, it's important to get down some fluids, water is okay, and maybe some saltine crackers. And then in the morning, you can start eating your normal regular breakfast, uh, which should be balanced with your vitamins, nutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, etc. Uh, your body needs all the nutrients it can get, um, and you should stay away from junk food and processed foods. Healing is, is very important and your body needs all the minerals, vitamins and proteins that it needs to heal well. Uh, as for rigorous activity, we don't usually allow rigorous acti activity for most surgeries for at least four weeks. But as you come to your clinic and your follow-ups, we will let you know what you can and can't do. Some of the surgeries require you to change your dressings in, in 48 hours and allows you to take a shower. Some we uh, ask you not to change the dressings until you see us in your first uh, post-operative appointment. Um, it depends on what kind of, uh, of operation you're going to undergo. Also, we get a, a lot of questions on how and what position each patient can sleep. Depending on what kind of operation you had, for instance, like a tummy tuck or a breast augmentation or liposuction, we ask people to sleep on their back so it keeps the incision line straight and keeps them rested and have very little pressure on them, which is important for healing. If you remember from the preoperative video, if you watched it, we discussed how important it is for you to refrain from smoking four to five weeks before the operation. This helps for blood supply and incision and flap and skin healing. It is important that you continue that and not smoke at all, not even one cigarette, for at least six weeks in the post-operative period. It would be great if you quit smoking altogether because that reflects good health and lifelong health. However, six weeks is the minimum as that will help you heal well and you will not be delivering carbon monoxide and other detrimental substances that are found in cigarettes, um, including the nicotine. Nicotine patches are no good either and either is our, our vapor cigarettes, e-vapor cigarettes, because they also deliver nicotine which constricts the vessels and causes detrimental healing to, to occur. So there you have it. There are your general post-operative instructions. Please follow the sheet that you will be getting in the post-operative unit before you go home very accurately so that it will optimize your healing. If you have any questions, please call me or my nurse, Jessica, and we'd be happy to discuss uh, how you're doing. We will be checking in on you anyway within the next 24 to 48 hours. Also, you can visit us online and there'll be information on post-operative care at www.capsny.com. That's www.capsnewyork.com. Thank you. Have a good day.